Hi guys, so there's more Tory corruption streaming out. Unfortunately, the latest involves the NHS. Now, former Tory MP and current chair of NHS England, Lord David Pryor, is the latest to face the spotlight over a meeting he organised between Lex Greensill, David Cameron's old boss, and the chief financial officer at the NHS. Lord Pryor, who used to be a health minister and a Tory party deputy chair, also helped to facilitate a meeting at which Lex Greensill was able to lobby Dido Harding, who is also Tory peer and chairs NHS Improvement, the health services financial regulator. Remember Dido? She recently received £39 billion to run Test and Trace. Greensill, it seems, was able to meet the chief executives of a number of NHS hospital trusts, whose support he was seeking for a scheme to permit the NHS's 1.4 million staff in England to be paid daily via a Greensill app called Earned. David Cameron, the former Prime Minister, who was a lobbyist and senior figure at the firm, and Matt Hancock, the Health Secretary, both backed the payment system Greensill wanted to introduce across the health service. Both have been highlighted as two main figures with connections to the company. Cameron has been attacked for weeks now due to his lobbying of a number of ministers and civil servants, both for Greensill to gain access to emergency government funding during the pandemic, but also for the NHS to adopt the payment app. Both the Labour Party and the Liberal Democrats have deeply criticised what's been going on here. They have said that Tory cronyism must not be allowed to interfere with the running of the National Health Service. They also demanded that Lord Pryor's engagements with Lex Greensill be made public. There are media reports of how Lord Pryor arranged for Lex Greensill and his close colleague Bill Crowther, the ex-head of government procurement under David Cameron, to meet Julian Kelly. Now he is NHS England's chief financial officer. Now this took place in July 2019 at a meeting which Sir Simon Stevens, the NHS chief executive, attended at Lord Pryor's request. Now, Matt Hancock is already under a lot of scrutiny for having a drink with Cameron and Greensill, who had worked as an advisor to Cameron when he was Prime Minister from 2010 to 2015. The Sunday Times released an email that David Cameron sent to Matthew Gold, the chief executive of the Health Services Digital Innovation Agency. In it, he asked to help to ensure that Greensill's company could access the personal data of NHS workers held in the service's electronic staff record. Dr. John Pontus, one of the chairs of Keep Our NHS Public, an organisation that campaigns against NHS privatisation, said that there is evidence that Pryor, Dido Harding and Sir Simon Stevens are all concerned with promoting a digital transformation of the NHS on the highly dubious claim that it will save money and improve care. NHS England and NHS Improvement, run by Dido Harding, replied to this news by saying, and I quote, NHS England and NHS Improvement experts scrutinised these proposals but decided not to go along with them. Had these ideas been taken forward by NHS EI, there would have been a transparent and open procurement process. NHS England did not respond when asked why Lord Pryor arranged for Lex Greensill and Crowther to meet Julian Kelly. They also did not respond to a request to disclose details of all relevant communications. The NHS is being sold off bit by bit. Parts are not even being sold off to the highest bidder, but to people who are simply bosses of former Tory leaders or MPs. The idea that the head of NHS England could be involved in this is disgusting but not really surprising. It has been the goal of the Tories to break the NHS and sell it off to their friends. Here we are seeing the evidence of how deep that corruption goes. Let me know in the comment section guys what you think. As always your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. 
Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee. So why not check it out?